Hey guys, it's Frantos here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be doing a shoe review and also an unboxing with t-shirts. Uh, we'll start off with the shoe first because I think I know more about it. Uh, the pair we'll be looking at is the Air Vapor Max Plus. It came out around 2019, so about three years ago, and the retail price for it is $190. The good thing about this shoe is that unlike the other original Vapor Maxes or the original uh, Vapor Max itself, it actually comes with a midsole right here that actually separa separates it from the air bubbles. Uh, my dad wore this to work for eight and a half hours standing up walking around and he had no complaints. He said this is one of the best and more, most comfortable shoes he's worn recently. Um, he got the triple black colorway, which is pretty rare to find. I went to the nearest mall to my house and I went around three stores and all stores were sold out or only had one pair of size or one size. And I had to actually order this online, which also was the last size that they had. Uh, the triple black colorway is a pair that, or is the colorway that people want because it matches with any outfit. and. It, in my opinion, it's the hardest to get dirty, but easiest to clean. It has, to, unlike the original Vapor Max, it comes with a cage, which helps keep the foot stability and it helps the people feel uh, comfortable with it. Um, I was reading some reviews and I actually was talking to some of my family members. They said that they felt more comfortable with the Vapor Max Plus because if you're a person that has a little excess weight, it helps with your feet um, not hurting. Um, it's good for flat-footed people, which is also me, but I don't have an actual pair. My dad got a, we originally got him a size 9 because with thinner and uh, denser shoes, he, it actually hurts his feet. But then when we got size 9, it was way too big. So we went down half a size, which is his true size, and it's an 8.5. Um, my mom has the original Vapor Max, and my dad has the Vapor Max Plus. And they both agree that the pair of shoes should be true to size and not go half a size up or half a size down. Cool features of this shoe is that at the back of the heel, the actual pull tab is in cheap uh, material. It's something where you can keep pulling and it won't you won't be scared to rip it off. And right below is the VM, which stands for Vapor Max tag at the back. It also has, yeah, in the white tab, it says air, so it's VM air. I think it's a good homage to the actual reason why this pair of shoes came alive, which was a mix of Air Max and Vapor Maxes. Um, it also, on the tongue, it has an Air Vapor Max Plus written or uh, etched into it. Here, I, oh, that's upside down. There we go. It's mirrored, but I'll show you the original image in the top right corner of the Air Vapor Max that my mom has. And I really think that this is a really nice pair of shoes. The original uh, Air Vapor Max without the actual caging, it's made of flannel. I think it's not like this is a huge upgrade because the size were what people were complaining about. And now that since the cage came in, people really. Another upside of this shoe is that it gives you an extra inch or two inches to your height. Uh, we short kings are struggling out here, but body positivity is at an all-time high and you should be happy of how you look and how you feel. But if you do cop a pair of these uh, Vapor Max Pluses, they will give you some extra height. And my dad has, like, he hasn't complained anything about the sole or the midsole. He said that during work he felt bouncy and his feet didn't get tired at all, so it's really hard to please my dad about getting shoes because he's really into Merrill, but uh, he's also a Nike fanboy. And with the colorway, which is triple black, and the comfortability and the actual style of it, my dad actually enjoyed this pair of shoes. And my mom and I are happy. We split 50-50 for his birthday, uh, his birthday gift, and we're really happy that he enjoyed it. Um, I think I'm gonna invest into buying a pair in the future, not near future, but like later future where maybe this will be my workout shoe where I just run or I take the stairs with them. If it looks really nice, he likes the design. Uh, it has that kind of menacing look where it doesn't, you don't look scary, but you just feel more confident wearing it and I'm happy. So that's it about the shoe. Uh, both sides are basically identical. There's no clear difference compared to like other shoes where they have different colorways on the other side. They both have the heel tab with the heel logo. So now that we're done with the shoe review, 
we're actually going to go into my t-shirt review. So over quarantine, I gained some weight and I was feeling insecure because even back then when I was a little skinnier, I would still wear a hoodie or like maybe shirts that wouldn't fit tight. But then uh, TikTok and YouTube reviewers, they got into more fashion for bigger guys and they gave me some brands and one brand that they kept talking about that they all said good things about is ASOS. They have a specific um, section where it says oversized t-shirt, but you don't have to buy an extra large or large shirt when you're actually medium. You stay the same size, but it won't be uh, skin tight to your skin, <laughs> skin tight to your body. And it'll actually be baggy so you don't have to feel uh, uncomfortable going outside when the wind's blowing or when you're just walking around it, you get sweaty. So I bought four pairs of shirts, two of them I'm gonna repair and uh, four pairs of shirts usually mean it's expensive but ASOS is a really cheap uh, and reliable brand where it gives you four t-shirts for a price that other stores can be giving you for one pair. So um, if you want something that you'll feel comfortable in and something where you won't feel ashamed of buying or too much or worrying it'll hurt your pocket, go to ASOS. It's cheap, it's good quality. And here, we're gonna unbox it. We'll be pulling it out. Um, the first pair of shirt that I'll be actually, oh, look, I, does it come with a goodie bag? Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, they had a deal during that night where if you ordered above $50, it gets free shipping and also free, uh, what's it called, returns. So I actually had to buy a ring because it was the cheapest thing there to match the actual price. The first ring, or the first item from ASOS that I'll be reviewing, is a snake ring. I think it's adjustable, but I did buy a size large because my fingers are pretty, not too big, but they're kind of not, they're like chunky. Um, here, I'll be cutting some parts out. It's a snake ring. Here we go. I think it's focusing. Uh, it'll curl around your fingers. Um, let me see. I'm actually not sure what kind of silver it is. I know it's not sterling silver. I think it's stainless silver. So I think I'm safe enough to shower, get my hands wet without worrying about greening. But yeah, that's actually the first product. I honestly forgot that uh, I had to order an extra piece of jewelry to match the price. Um, let's see, is there anything else? In there? The first shirt that I'll be reviewing is a pink shirt. Uh, it's, by the, it's by the original ASOS brand, but under the actual page for the shirt, it said purple, which I was surprised. And my girlfriend and I were, was pretty confused, but we can't really complain. It has a, it's like, it's a design on the uh, front of the shirt where it's not too plain. And I honestly think it'll fit me. I think this is a large, after the video, I'll be wearing both the large and extra large to see what I like. But um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the tag is inside. I think I like the design. It's not too plain, so you can you don't have to worry about not standing out. Uh, but if you do worry about standing out, it's not like there's any uh, too much intricate designs on it so that's my first pair of shirt or my first shirt that i bought um i like it let's let's go on to the next one the next pair it's like a tannish color sand brown this one will be an extra large they're all overused or over oversized sorry oversized fits hmm. here we go um 36 okay so this shirt unlike the pink shirt this is completely bland not bland as in a bad way but it's plain so this is something where you're gonna if you're gonna plan on layering up you can put a baseball tee on top maybe a jean jacket and you'll be good for your outfit if not you can wear this i think this will fit perfectly with my mocha ones that i reviewed a few videos ago i'll try to tag it in the description if you want to watch but it's an this one is an extra large um i think i like it i have to really see and compare which one i like it's also made by asos so that's one large one extra large the third pair is like a 
olive green. This is actually another ASOS. Ooh, wait. Oh. I think they made a mistake. They sent an extra, extra large shirt. So I'm not even gonna open this. This for sure, I'm gonna return. Uh, it has a design though, where it just says um, Destiny on the side. It's a large, it has a rose in the middle. And if you didn't know, because I'm pretty sure I, has, I haven't said it in a video previously, I do like roses as like an actual flower, like a physical item, and also as a design. So here it is. Oh, I'm holding it upside down. This is a size large. Um, yeah, look, it has a rose in the front. Something cool, uh, something to stand out instead of just being plain. I think this will go well with basically any clothes you wear, short shorts, cargos. Uh, so I actually just finished showing my parents the t-shirts and they uh, agreed on which ones I should keep and which ones I should return. So obviously the first one will be the green olive t-shirt. Um, it was too big so I couldn't even wear it. And the second t-shirt that I'm actually going to return is the pink t-shirt with the uh, stitch design on it. Wait, it's backwards. Stitch design. They said that the design was unique and also that the color was actually pretty cool. But they said it'll be hard to actually uh, pair it with outfits because I only can do certain colors like lighter dark colors. So the two that they said I should keep is actually the tan brown one, which was plain, and also the black t-shirt with the rose. They We all agreed that it'll be easier to match with no matter what colors I choose, if it's rainbow colors or if it's dark, light, or neutral. They said that they all should match together. So the only complaint, well, it's not even, it's just a minor complaint, is that the t-shirt where uh, the sleeves are are actually too long. So my mom will be, what's it called? I think not, not stitching it up. She'll be cutting it, cutting it and fitting it where it's shorter so it won't look as baggy. So I wanna say thank you to her. And that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching all the time. I wanna take the time to say thank you for always showing the support and I love you guys. Next week and for the next few days, there'll be more videos. I hope to myself, well, I hope that I can upload every day especially since summer's coming up i'm only taking two courses this summer so that means a lighter uh workload and more time to actually go out or spend time with my family and my friends so there will be more videos um but that's about it thank you for coming in and tune in for the next video bye